hi guys right now i am on you can see this evolution x rom android 14 so now i am going to install cherish os android 14 rom first let's boot into the recovery mode now you need to wipe all these except internal storage wiping it now go back click on install now wipe dalvik format the data now click reboot now let's set the phone so right now we are on cherish os let me show you cherish os this is android 14 upside down cake and cherish it's cherish was 5.2 and one more thing i wanted to show you that uh, it runs on kernel 4.4 you can see the message this pixel can back up unlimited photos and videos at no charge now let's check unto the benchmark You can see the benchmark score is like nearly evolution x uh, last time we tried evolution x from android 14 you can see 10 percent battery decrease and 0 0.8 degrees celsius increased you can see this device is certified so it passes both the safety net so no issues with payment applications you can use it without any issues it also comes with kernel su so you can root your device without being detected by other apps i've been testing this, this rom from around two to three days and i found various bugs that i wanted to share with you now i would like to show you some bugs Firstly, this Dolby Atmos feature does not work at all. Does not work. Secondly, this the notification light does not work during the charge. So when you charge it, the notification light does not turn on. And when I search for notification light, you see. 
you see notification light here and when I try to turn it on and click here it automatically comes back it lags and it does not work see another thing that I wanted to show you that you when you change these volume bars it sometimes it works like this the slider comes right there let me show you a video you can see this is a recorded video so when I click on the volume button this side does not appear and it lags a lot this keeps happening all the time but if you use normal ASOP volume bars then you will not see this problem now Cherish OS has been my daily driver from a month now and as you can see I have got another update it's 5.3 all the bugs that were there are now fixed but one thing that is not fixed is the notification light when we charge the device the notification light doesn't work but in normal cases like notifications it does work when the screen is off so when you go here in notification light and turn these on see it automatically comes back so it still does not work when the screen is on it just works when the screen is off and another issue that I am facing now after the new update is that uh, I am experiencing you know tem uh, high temperature even in normal usages and even when I have kept the phone idle then also I am feeling a phone the phone to be very hot and it is using kernel 4.4 kernel 4.4 another bug that I just found is the hotspot is not working sadly this is a very big bug because hotspot is something we use often in our devices and this does not work it is although 5.3 the new update that's it for the video and i'll meet you in the next thank you goodbye please like share and subscribe